In the aftermath of colonialism, many former French colonies in West Africa retained deep anger toward France, considering it as a neo-colonial oppressor. This feeling has been fostered by views of French intrusion into their domestic affairs, economic exploitation, and cultural imperialism. As a result, many countries have witnessed political instability, including coups and anti-French protests, in response to their dissatisfaction with French policies. Similar doubts and worries are arising in Senegal with the election of Bazirou Diomé Faye, 44, a pan-Africanist, as the country's youngest president. There is speculation that President Faye will build a confederation and military alliance with neighboring countries such as Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso in order to reduce dependency on Western powers and oppose neocolonial forces. The potential of Senegal entering such a confederation presents numerous geopolitical considerations and challenges. On the one hand, it represents a potential change toward greater African unity and self-determination independent of other forces. It shows a desire to assert sovereignty while rejecting perceived Western exploitation and oppression. However, it creates practical and diplomatic problems, such as managing existing alliances and commercial agreements, as well as the possibility of Western retaliation. The demand to like the video and subscribe to the new tourism channel as well as the invitation to remark on Senegal's future federation with anti-French states, highlight the importance of public interaction and discourse in shaping African political processes. It emphasizes the need of grassroots support and participation in decisions that may have far-reaching consequences for the region's future. As Senegal considers its next steps, it faces a watershed point in its history, combining ambitions for autonomy with the difficulties of international relations. Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso's governments have openly proclaimed their intention to join a confederation following their resignation from ICAOS, an organization seen to be influenced and exploited by the West. This decision follows what they regard as illegitimate and harsh penalties imposed by ICAOS, pushing the three countries to explore alternate routes for cooperation and growth. The Malian government's spokesperson said that diplomats from the three nations have urged that their respective heads of state form a cooperation federation. The goal of this federation is to strengthen diplomatic relations and promote economic development in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. The proposal also includes broadening the objectives of the Saho State Alliance, which was formed in September 2023, shortly after the Niger coup, to include more regional collaboration and solidarity. The decision to join a confederation reflects the West African state's determination to assert their autonomy and pursue their own development agendas free of external pressures. It reflects a rising dissatisfaction with international organizations considered to serve foreign interests rather than those of the region's people. Speaking to reporters, Ali's Minister of Territorial Organization and Decentralization chastised Dikawas for threatening military action against a sovereign state just because it seeks self-determination. This view reflects the discontent that many people in the region have with organizations that they believe are eroding their autonomy and sovereignty. This current Ikawas is a fantastic example of what the AES will never be, as it will continue to be an alliance of governments united by the shared goal of African emancipation. This new period will see our state's alliance strengthen even more, establishing itself as a force in the service of peace, security, development, and the integration of our peoples for the benefit of our nations. Returning to Senegal, a country in Western Africa recognized for its democracy. However, former President Macky Sall's attempt to postpone elections nearly derailed democracy. Senegal's newly elected president has come under fire as many Africans want to know his position on the Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso issues. Senegal shares borders with Mali to the southeast and Junta-led Guinea to the south. The new president has yet to respond to questions regarding Senegal's joining the confederation alongside Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. However, we have obtained some critical information that may influence his decisions. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to avoid missing any of our upcoming geopolitical videos in Africa. Remember, France colonized Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Senegal. A viral video purporting to show Senegal's new president disparaging the country's former colonial power France has been spreading online since he was sworn in on March 24. 
Footage purported to depict President Faye has been widely posted on social media, with subtitles suggesting he has instructed France to leave us alone. In the video, a man speaking in English says it's time for France to take its knee off our neck and halt this cruel oppression. Centuries of misery, human trafficking, colonization, and neocolonization have resulted in enormous suffering. It is time to halt this cycle of injustice. It is time for France to leave us alone. Mr. Usman Sanko, the new president's prime minister, is an anti-French and pan-Africanist campaigner. According to a report on the speech by local media in 2021, Mr. Sonko stated that it is time for France to leave us alone. This indicates that the future president will likely join the Confederation. Since entering power, Sanko and Faye have pledged to examine ties with former colonial power France, raising concerns about the country's future foreign policy. Anti-French sentiments in other Francophone West African countries, such as Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, have fueled military coup attempts. France has withdrawn militarily from these countries, which have turned to Russia. The anti-French views demonstrate that France has been a parasite, living on the suffering and enslavement of Africans by establishing puppet leaders in their former colonies. However, young Africans are rising up against the French domination. In fact, many Senegalese are demanding for the French to leave the nation. French corporations and politicians that have exploited the country must go immediately. The 400 French soldiers stationed in the country, known as the French Elements of Senegal, who offer regional military training, must be asked to leave, as they have been in Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali. Hearing the new Senegalese government's anti-French posture, French President Emmanuel Macron, with his tail between his legs, stated that he wished to continue and strengthen the connection between their countries. Macron's office claimed that he spoke with Faye on Friday for half an hour, which resulted in a very nice chat. Bassarou Dayom Faye, the country's youngest leader, has stated that he intends to prioritize Senegal while maintaining a positive relationship with the former colonial power. As we all know and have seen with Wanda, Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso, Placing Senegal first will result in the removal of the French. Please share this video with your friends and family. Let everyone know that Africa must be free of all foreign influence. Meanwhile, Senegal's new left-wing pan-Africanist president, Basiru Diome Faye, called for more unity among African countries in the face of security difficulties, Western domination and exploitation, Western woke influence and neocolonialism. Faye underlined Senegal's commitment to stepping up efforts to promote peace, security, stability, and African integration. This could indicate that Faye will lead Senegal into the Confederation alongside Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. When anti-French sentiments erupted in Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso, Macron was quick to condemn the coup leaders because he was unaware of the entire power that was against France. However, due to a lack of supplies and the isolation of French embassies and armies in these nations, France was obliged to surrender, and the French ambassadors escaped to France. Macron has learned his lesson and is attempting to charm Senegal's new president with sweet words. However, Senegalese and Africans are waiting to see what happens in the coming days between Senegal and France over African emancipation. Africa must be free, unified, and sovereign. In the past, we relied on older leaders, but many of them failed us and sold us out to neocolonialists. Those who stood up to the neocolonialists were mercilessly silenced. There have also been attempts on the life of Burkina Faso's Prahim Traoré, so now Africans are hoping and looking to younger African leaders to bring about change on the continent. What do you think of Bessaru Diome Faye? Should Senegal's new president unite with leaders from Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso to oppose Western oppressors and neocolonialism? Tell us what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching until the end. Please leave your thoughts about France's presence in Africa in the comments area.